process the stamped pressure to address you at the opening ceremony of the workshop on integrating flood and drought management early warning for climate change adaptation in the water base. The Ghana Meteorology Agency is honored to be supported by the distinguished organizations such as the World Meteorological Organization, the Water Basin Authority, the Global Water Partnership in West Africa to organize this important workshop here in Accra. As MC indicated, this is the third. The Water Resources Commission was uh, established by an Act of Parliament, Act 522 in 1996. And this gave the water resources the mandate to um, sustainably manage the utilization of our water resources. For the Coastal Protection Division, um, they are basically involved in the protection of the coastal uh, our coastline along the country. So you know, in Ghana we have about over 500 kilometers of coast. And so um, this division, you know, uh, designed and supervised. Now, what is early warning? Early warning is now becoming one of the topical issues with respect to climate change. That means the information has to reach you in time to be able to take that decision. So, and that should be through a certain process. And that process is what we are looking at or terming as the early warning system. The kind of normal rainfall, and only we have the East Coast, the Accra Harbour Basic Cape Coast. The kind of rainfall, this is the amount of rainfall it has been as normal for those in the East Coast. In the Nanka, I think the air through the ATM as I buy the water alarm, which is an early warning system, and he developed it for people within the water base and catchment area. It's one hour walk, baby, a water, a river, a So, if we any develop a early warning system on flood and drought, I'm out. Now, the Ufu BB say, Tanya, I don't have any kind of explain here. You were a risk, and we're a legend that described the risks before. We have a no impact, low impact medium impact and a high impact. And yeah, and the yeah, impact is negative. And until they say, say, yeah, take a year for that, you ask you. Now you have to be a communicating rightly. If I try to say, I teach you, we send your okay, I say, you want a forfeit. We will be a Mokina for, we will be a Mali for, not Ocean, Benina, Omina, or Tiffin. Yena, the devout and the Namik is the power. Oh, and a forfeit. Climate Atlas uh, is now basically a product that contains climate information, okay, in the form of maps or graphs or charts that make projections on certain climate indicators for some number of years, 50 years, 100 years, okay. So at GMF we are producing this and we want to do that in, in conjunction with you.
and uh, I'm so grateful to be part of this training program. As journalists, we communicate with our people. We communicate climate change and related issues with our people. We need to be informed to be able to communicate effectively with the people. And so whatever I've learned here is going to help me. This workshop is going to help us because we deal with farmers every day. And farmers expect us to give them weather information about when to plant, when to apply fertilizer, even when to harvest. And per the knowledge I've gained here, it will help us to disseminate this information for our farmers timely. And the uh, voter alarm system workshop here, I want to give you a chance. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm a forecaster. Celebrate your community timely. A friend is saying update on the weather condition. Yeah, no. Celebrate your community yesterday according to the weather. No, yeah, no, no, no. We want to do one more. Now, after some, yes, 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 yes. Now, so this year. This workshop organized by Ghana Meteorological Agency has really helped me in so many ways. Initially, I could interpret um, the weather forecast that comes out, but I have got to learn more even how the marine departments of the agency come out with their reports and some of the specifics going to do two subjects. In fact, I would say this particular workshop has been a great one because uh, usually I receive this weather um, alert from uh, GMET, but usually the interpretation sometimes is very difficult for me. But with what we've gone through for the whole day, I think I've been enlightened and I've gotten the understanding for all the things that I used to see that I can interpret it well. So can you hear? Now I, I know you have to do uh, an extensive work before you can uh, send out information out there to listeners. That would be authentic. If this training has impacted me a lot that I will channel this information to my presenters so that when they are engaging with the viewers, they know exactly what they are saying. So they taught me how to read uh, uh, the weather, the weather that they sent here. Yes, sometimes, when they send it here, yes, interpreting it can't be for But now they taught me how to interpret it. The training has been very successful, right from the north to the south. Uh, unanimously, uh, stakeholders agreed that the product is okay, and there did not, there was no suggestion that any of the things that have been put on the bulletin should be changed which means that we are on the right path and they agree to what we have done. One to 10, I'll give about eight over 10 because all our expectations have been realized. The workshop has been a success, I would say. Uh, my expectations have been met. I would rate this whole uh, facilitation and the workshop um, as about eight out of 10 in terms of participation and um, uh, input from participants. I think this water alarm system will go a long way to help the Commission in planning as mm -hmm. it gives us um, information of what is happening uh, beforehand. So it will help us in our planning and preparation. Many of 